Mm. Okay. Well, to present the final award, we welcome back Alan Guth. Alan and the rest of the selection committee have chosen the winner, or winners, from among the Frontiers Prize laureates. The vote was cast with a secret ballot. Only an auditor can be trusted with that kind of sensitive inside information. So we also welcome Carl Johansson of Ernst & Young. The contents of this envelope are known only to Carl and possibly Earl Schrodinger. Carl, would you please pass the envelope to Alan? Alan, will you please collapse the wave function? Let me point out, first of all, that not all physicists believe that wave functions collapse. Uh, there is the alternative point of view, which in fact most cosmologists, I think, uh, subscribe to, uh, which is that the wave function does not collapse, but rather the universe branches. Uh, so let me assure you that at least, according to some of us, in other branches of the universe, those candidates who are not the one that I'm about to read from this envelope, uh, go ahead and win the Fundamental Physics Prize. <laughs> that said, I can announce ladies and gentlemen, that the winner of the Fundamental Physics Prize for 2013 in this branch of the universe is Alexander Polyakov. I hope I heard right. <laughs> you did. Uh, I, 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 said before, I said before that I'm uh, surprised and that I don't know what to say. Now you have to multiply it by a factor of 10. <laughs> I uh, don't have much experience with big numbers, actually. You know, I uh, suspected for a long time that uh, a trillion is just an abbreviation for three millions. Uh, uh, we will see it. <laughs> but, um, well, seriously, it's an immense honor, and uh, I really bewildered, overwhelmed uh, by this prize, and I uh, want to thank all people, starting with my wife, Dasha, who made it possible. Uh, thank you very much. I, I, I have oh, you have another one there. Oh, I have another one. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Carl, and thank you, Alan. And congratulations to all of our winners. Well, that brings this evening's ceremony to a close, ladies and gentlemen. We want to congratulate all our winners. Thank you to our wonderful performers, to the selection committee, and to all of you for being with us tonight. To celebrate the minds that have produced some of the greatest ideas and experiments in the last decades. Yet as ever, such a discovery sparks a cascade of new questions. Questions like, is the graviton out there roaming unseen? waiting to be shepherded into the fold of the standard model. Are pea brains real, or are they just what mathematical physicists call everyone else? Will the Large Hadron Collider bring us news of higher dimensions? 
And the question most often asked by journal editors, how long is a piece of string theory? <laughs> this questioning quest, this relentless, restless doubt is the creed of science. It is this uncertainty principle that drives it onward. So our laureates will not rest on their laurels and neither will their colleagues. They will keep pushing new ideas and experiments to the next level, keep re-examining established ones, and keep reaching for reality. And that's why the one thing we don't doubt is that the coming year will bring fresh insights, new discoveries, and great adventures in physics. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. Everything you promised.